I stalked Benjamin a little bit online <laughs> on LinkedIn because I go and hunt for for interesting people for us to chat to. Uh, and um, I found his his LinkedIn profile and, and activity really, really interesting. So thanks for making the time to to chat to us today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing, uh, Yvonne. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to connect with people like yourself and to share some of what I've learned and maybe help others. Um, at least get a cool story or two out there and uh, yeah. now see where it goes. Awesome. Thanks. To start off with, let's get a little bit of a background of who you are and, and what you do. Sure. So I'm a little, little bit of an odd bird, right? So I'm not your traditional accountant. So I happen to be an accountant is the way I explain it to people <laughs> yeah. I work with. So I started my career. Um, I've been in manufacturing and accounting for the last 10 years. And I've earned a series of accounting credentials to be a, a public accountant, a management accountant, uh, certified in strategy and analysis. I have an MBA, a project management certification. If there's a, if there's credentials, I've got them. That's so, a lot of paperwork. <laughs> a lot of paperwork. That's a lot so of paperwork. I, I've had quite a journey to kind of define who I am and to get a whole bunch of knowledge to figure out kind of where I want to play. Mm. And that's afforded me a luxury of being able to have a lot of flexibility and creativity in designing the career and sort of the, the side hustles I want to work with. Right, and, right, right. And looking back now, it's definitely been worth it. You're not allowing the idea of what an accounting profession is supposed to be to hold you back and keep it boring. You know, you're making your life as interesting as you want it to be kind of thing. Yeah. And to the contrary, I think it's actually accelerated my career, my day job and my side hustles. Yeah. So it's it's really contrary to what you hear, right? You want to try and fit in and do the traditional mm. path, tried and true. But I found if you just look at things a little bit different, you try some safe experiments, there's a whole lot of opportunity out there that yeah. you know you can unlock and, and use in your favor. I think there is a lot of opportunity to look at, at accounting and not follow the tried and true path and try to think differently, or well, I call it creatively, mm. on what different avenues are and what you can do differently to mm. add, to build on your strengths, to find what you do best, what you do uniquely. And, and really, that's where that's where you have more fun. That's where you get paid more. And that's where you really start to feel the passion come out of what you do. It's no longer, like you said, debits and credits. It's about adding value to the mm. business mm. and trying to figure out, figure out, okay, we have these numbers. The system can do the debits and credits. What do they mean? What do we do with that? How do we help influence decision makers? Mm. Uh, so, so it's kind of having the awareness of where the field's going and, and tying into that. Mm. And you kind of got to figure out your own path there. It's not fully defined yet. So that's mm. kind of where the creativity piece comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a day job. That's great. But like, what's kind of motivated you to have a bunch of side hustles? Because you've, you've written, you do a lot of writing and stuff as well, and, and you have a whole bunch of projects. So like... Are you just bored? <laughs> but I mean, that's a lot of energy. That requ that like requires a lot of energy. So it is. It is. So I, I think kind of like my my was it the Genesis moment was a couple of years ago in 2019. I was working for a cheese company in a manufacturing organization, and I'm seeing you know the organization allegedly has a strategy, but I know I know day to day it's a mess, right? No one knows what we're doing. We're fighting fighting fires. And I have all these, this education. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I take my education? How do I make sense of what we're doing here at work? And how do I share kind of my knowledge and experience with others? Yeah. Um, for me, I like to help teach and, and to share my knowledge. And so kind of it, it, it kind of started with a few articles and then it grew from there. And then I took a year to just do some intensive research and study to write uh, my first book. And I just continued from there. So it's... um. I guess I want to share knowledge and mm. I want to keep learning myself. 